Hello everyone, welcome to the second part. In our previous video, we discussed about the creation as well as the deletion of the SQL Server. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss that how you can create the database and how you can attach to a SQL Server. And again for that, I will take the help of the client object. So client, client.databases.create and inside this method I need to supply two arguments the first one is the server name the second is the database create parameter so server name and new database create parameters now this parameter are similar to that of server create parameter here we supply the parameter for creating the SQL server similarly we will supply some additional parameter for creating the database so the name of the database let's say QA demo the correlation name so this represents the type of database you want to create for example in my case I want to create the case insensitive database if you want to create the case sensitive database you need to specify the second that setting inside the correlation name and after that the addition so the addition represents the storage capability if I'm going with the standard standard then I will have a limitation on the storage capacity and if I'm using the premium then the storage capacity will be much more as compared to the standard so if I look at the return type of this method it is going to return me the object of database create response so database create response and the response and here I will just print the at the console so console right line the response dot status code okay and for time being I'm going to comment out this two statement okay so again I will run this script in debug mode okay I forgot to add the debug point so let me rerun it again so first it will create the server for us so this is the server and then after that it is going to create the database for us inside that server so if I just do a refresh over here so this is the new server if I open the server so you can see here this is the database which is which is attached to this server and I will continue with the execution so now if I want to delete the database similarly we are going to call a delete method so here again I will use client that is client.databases.delete and here I will specify the name of the server as well as the name of the database so this is our server name comma dresponse.databases.name so it is going to delete the database for us and again it is going to return me the object of Azure operation response so Azure operation response and I will use console dot right line and print the response dot status code and let me uncomment this part so in the end it is going to delete the database for us okay 
So again, I will run the script in debug mode. So first it will create the server for us. Then it will create the database and attach to the server. See if I go back to the Azure portal. So this is our server name. So this is our database. Now I will delete the database. See if I just do a refresh and again open the SQL Server. So the database is gone. And after that I will delete the SQL Server. So now the SQL Server is also gone. So let me run this script one more time to show you that how you can use this SQL Server to connect from the SQL management that is from here using this SQL sorry SQL Server Management Studio. So again I will run this in debug mode. So first it will create the server then attach the database to it. Okay. I will go back to the Azure portal and the server name is this. I ate something. So inside this SQL Server we have this database and if I want to connect to this SQL Server and access this database I need a connection string. So here if I click on this option it is going to give me the connection string for this database. So you can use this connection string to connect to this database either using the management studio or any other application. Now I, it will delete the database and after that it will delete the SQL server. So in this manner using the SQL management client you can interact with the SQL server and database.